Hello everybody, this is Drew Douglas in for day 11 of the WordPress for Designers series on blog.themeforest.net. Um, I want to quickly say thank you to Dennis again. The uh, Dennis has been making these awesome uh, and really funny um, WordPress for Designer wallpaper series um, for us. So he's been releasing them for download. Hopefully he'll have a download link uh, for us. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to do it to make sure it's okay with him, but I'm sure Dennis will put a link up uh, to download this because some of the details in here are just really funny. So I think you guys uh, will get a kick out of that. But I do have good news. Uh, the missing uh, Photoshop document is no more. We have um, picked a uh, PSD to work with. Uh, I think you guys are really going to like it. And uh, we're going to spend uh, all day today, um, you know, first we're going to look at look at all the different pages and, um, and parts of the PSD. And then we're going to talk about how we're going to uh, use how the PSD is set up and the structure there and how we're going to somehow incorporate that into a WordPress theme. How are we going to be able to do this and that with WordPress? And so we'll kind of lay out um, we'll kind of lay out our game plan here. And then at the very end of uh, today, we're going to we're going to touch on um, extracting some of the images out of the PSD and uh, you know and um, getting them ready for the web and and uh, getting them ready for our theme. So one thing I need to put out there to everybody is that this the PSD we're going to be using, and I'll show you the um, the author and the homepage of the PSD here in a second, um, is is for sale on Theme Forest, and for that reason we can't um, or we won't give out the uh, image any image sources or the PSD itself because we have to you know we have to respect the author. We can't just go out you know giving. Uh, you know, free PSDs or the images to someone's PSD that's that's for sale on Theme Forest that other people you know have paid money to have. So, you know, if you want to, like I said, I'm gonna you know give credit to the author here in a second and show you his homepage. Um, in fact, let's just do that now. Let's take a look at the theme we'll be using in uh, Firefox. Uh, the theme is called Paper Business. It's by a uh, a great designer and uh, and web developer named. Uh, I think it's Jeffrey. I, I know I'm maybe I'm not saying that right. I just uh, I know it's not Joe Frey, um, but yeah, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. But I'll just say Jeffrey for now, and you guys can jump on me later if I'm if I'm saying it wrong. Um, but yeah, we're going to be using the, the paper business theme, and we'll take a look at some of the screenshots now. You know, like I said, if you want to buy it, help you know, and follow along completely. Um, it's ten bucks, you know. If not, you can still follow along and learn just as much because, you know, it's not really about what PSD you use, but the techniques you use um, and the fundamentals you learn when building a WordPress theme. So, and I'll have this link for you guys below in case uh, any of you want to check it out. But once again, thanks to uh, Jeffrey, um, you know, for letting us work with uh, his PSD in the series. And, uh, and let's take a look at some of the screenshots. It's a really, really cool theme. Let's go to the home page. This is what's going to be, uh, this is going to be our, our, our main home page of our WordPress theme, um, the paper business uh, home page. You can see here we have a nice little kind of folded uh, paper area for the content and um, a nice place for a slider um, that will probably integrate some jQuery there. And um, and pull some uh, custom blog posts out and put them into this section, something of that nature. And, th and this will be a cool little project for us working on this little slider here too with WordPress. Um, you know, you scroll down. There's a nice little tagline, and uh, who we are, what we do, latest blog, and uh, you know, we'll get into all the details of those later. And uh, you know, nice little paper um, footer. So it's a very paper theme. I'm going to go ahead and just go over all the different screenshots um, because we need to know about them obviously. This is an about us page so this is our page where uh, where we'll use for just single static pages you know um, page.php. Next we have you know our services which is also just a single page a little more things on the sidebar so you know already you should be thinking maybe widgets could go there uh, we could do some pretty creative stuff with the sidebar paper here and this one has a spot for a custom image we could do that with a 
with a custom field which we'll get into. Uh, next we have a, a cool portfolio page that we'll be doing and um, you can kind of see that each little project has a little description here and then you can view more details or view the live site. Um, what we'll probably end up doing for this is um, using a custom query to pull uh, you know, a post out of a portfolio section or something of that nature. Not sure yet, but you can already see how we can, can use some of the things that we've been learning to, uh, to pull out custom content. And this is the blog page. This will be index.php. Uh, notice that the blog page is not on the home page, but this is not hard to do with WordPress, and we'll get, you know, obviously completely into that. Um, but the blog page is nice enough looking, just like every other page. Um, it's got a search uh, and, and, you know, categories here. That will be just a, z a breeze for us to do with WordPress. That will just be super simple. And uh, lastly, we have a nice little contact us form. Um, you know, some custom input boxes here. Uh, nothing to advance. So, like I said, I think that we've picked a really uh, practical but nice looking, um, you know, kind of papery uh, theme here that can really go well with uh, WordPress theme development. So, let's take a look at uh, the uh, Photoshop uh, document and. Uh, you know, I was I was building a theme for us, but they said this one wasn't good enough. But I just thought I'd mention it here. You know, they told me not to, but I'm going to. And uh, so yeah, I'll give this out for free or something. So if you guys want to, you know, like make a WordPress theme out of this one, which I spent like like, th like 25 minutes on the other night while I was watching Doug, and so I mean. I'll, I'll give this out for everybody, but I just wanted to kind of uh, you know, put that out there that I, I, I tried to make one too, but it wasn't, it didn't work out. So here is the PSD we'll be working with. Um, like I said, we're not going to give this out, but you know, it's okay for us to show you screenshots and, and how it's organized and things like that. Um, Jeffrey uh, did a really good job organizing all the different um, content layers for us so it's really easy for us to just hide and show the different pages and uh, like the blog page or the home page. Um, I'm sorry if my computer runs a little slow Photoshop tends to be a bit of a memory hog so you can see we can just uh, close out the contact and now we have our home page here. And What I want to point out is first I kinda want to go over um, things that we need to think about before we even start slicing our images since we're working with WordPress and then um, at the end we're going to talk about how we're going to pull out some of these specific images and what techniques we're going to use and then we'll get more into slicing and, and, and extracting them and saving them for the web later. So let's take a look at our home page. Okay. Um, the one of the uh, things I noticed here is obviously the slider and uh, the content here. Um, are we going to do this as a one static page? And if so, how are we going to get the different content into here? Um, what about these three columns? Are these going to be um, just hard-coded HTML columns that are floated when someone writes a page? Or are we going to make it uh, easier and are we going to pull these from somewhere? Um, latest blog obviously will be easier because we're just going to pull that from the blog. But um, what about who we are and what we do? How do we get um, all of this here, making it easiest for the user? These are all things that we need to to keep in mind here and talk about. So probably one of the best ideas for the slider content here is uh, we could set up a a category called featured slider. And, and then we could use a custom query to, uh, to pull out and you know, format our HTML into our slider and let, uh, and let J, you know, jQuery handle the rest of it. So uh, you know, that would be one solution to how we'd pull in a slider would be um, pulling um, posts only from a certain um, category that we created and then uh, you know, excluding any other ones. And we will definitely uh, be getting into a lot of that later. 
And then, um, you know, all we would have to do is use one of the many, many slider plugins that are available. We'll look to see which one uh, works best for us. Um, if we don't find one that works best for us, we'll build our own. Um, so that's these are the kind of things that we need to keep in mind because it's not just like a hard-coded HTML template. It's you know we we need to think about how are we going to make this work with WordPress and how are we going to make this easiest for the user um, to get all of this information out onto their website. Um, what else did I want to go over on the home page here? Okay, um, let's talk about images now. I think that's all I wanted to talk about on the home page for now. If I hide that and look at the background here, I'm not sure if you're not in full screen if you can see this, but I'll use the marquee tool to kind of demonstrate this. Right about here, sorry about that, there's a big, uh, a big radial gradient here that's giving it a nice kind of uh, lighter blue glow that gets, um, you know, obviously dissipates as it goes on. It's a, it's a radial gradient. Um, and so that's something that we're going to have to think about when we we get our uh, WordPress theme built, and if you see, if I go to background, and if you put your if you put your uh, player right now, your Blip TV player in full screen, and you uh, if I hide the that that layer, you can see that that uh, kind of half transparent uh, gradient is really adding a nice effect to our theme. So we're going to have to incorporate that, and what we're going to end up doing is saving it as a transparent PNG, um, like so. I know that's kind of hard to see, but and then we're going to end up positioning it as we need to uh, where it should be. And then the next thing I want to go over, I'm going to hide the gradient for now just so you guys can see this a little bit more clearly. Um, if you look at the background layer, it might look just like a solid blue if you take one click, uh, you know, some kind of blue color if you take a quick glance at it, but it actually has some uh, noise in the background, which gives it that real kind of a uh, nice papery feel to it which was probably done you know through the the noise filter so we need to figure out a way um, to have this background you know go down for as much of the content as we need but without having you know a gigantic gigantic image and um, you know we, we, have, we have time so I'll go over a demo of that right now what we're gonna do we need to turn the gradient back on because we don't want to take any part any, anything that's glowing really from the gradient because obviously that's a little bit of a lighter color with the um, with the overlay there. So I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom and the only thing we're going to need to do to get our background like this is I'm just, you, oh by the way you can use the slice tool for this I just want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing here and this that way you can see the little ants after I made my selection but we'll get more into the slice tool next uh, series. And I, I can just take a chunk you know could be even smaller but just enough to get some kind of a, a pattern there and uh, go to edit copy merge new paste it in there and that's all we're going to need for our background it's just a little chunk like that and then we're just going to repeat it um, on the X and the Y um, you repeat it on, on both axes um, the last thing you would have to do for that is just go to you know if you don't know Photoshop that well, save for web and devices. Again, you could have used um, slice the slice tool for this. I'm uh, just doing it for visibility purposes. Here we probably can just get away with, with high. Uh, for now, we'll just do very high. Um, it's still a very small image. So hit save. We'll just save it to the desktop for now as background repeat dot jpeg. So that is how we're going to do the background. Um, I kind of wanted to point that out because I don't know if you guys can see on my screen if there's this kind of radial gradient here and then um, this kind of noise pattern in the background. So I wanted you guys to understand that. Um, I think there's one more, a few more images I wanted to go over. Um, yes, okay. On the Contact Us page and on most other pages besides the slider, um, this little paper background here is going to need to be a dynamic height, meaning it's going to need to stretch as uh, depending on how much content they have in here. And again, if you put it in full screen, since it's a you know a paper theme, it's got this kind of crinkly, nice paper texture to the background. But 
that's going to be, you know, it, it presents the problem and the question to us. Um, how do we get this to be a dynamic height and at the same time having the nice little images? So we're going to open up the, uh, the contact folder. And uh, let me find the feature in here. And um, let me hide the paper plane for now. So what we're going to do is this is actually going to be three images. And like I said, we're going to get into the slice tool tomorrow. But um, I'll go ahead and hide the text for you guys too. Okay. So uh, we also have a drop shadow around it too that we, make, we need to make sure we preserve. But we're going to kind of take this in top, middle, bottom parts. Now the top is just going to be something like, and this is not uh, exact yet, but it's going to be something like just taking like this kind of a snippet. Something real small that we can have the top on. In the middle, what we're going to do is we're going to find a good place, make sure you know we include the drop shadows here, and again I'm not, uh, we'll get more into this tomorrow when we start slicing everything. But, uh, and we're going to find a good section here that kind of repeats that paper texture right below where we made our top thing and we're going to use that as the basis is uh, as our basis for repeating um, on the Y axis and then finally at the bottom since we have a drop shadow and, and more crinkles we're just going to do something like this and take the bottom so we're kind of going to do a little CSS you know trickery and those of you that have developed themes before and done things like this that's probably an obvious one of the more obvious solutions but um, if we break it down into the three steps, we can achieve that uh, dynamic height that we're looking for. And, um, and th that, that's kind of, I think, most of the things I wanted to cover because I have a few questions for you guys uh, before we wrap this up for today and, uh, and we get more into the slicing tomorrow. The reason we didn't get more into the slicing today is that those of you uh, that want to purchase this so you can... You know, like those of you that are completely new to this, uh, uh, if you want to follow along completely, I'll, I'll give you a chance to go out and do so. But like I said, either way, um, please don't be put off by um, us not releasing the PSD because you will still be able to follow along 100%. So, um, that said, I have a few questions for you guys um, when it comes to how we're going to do um, the actual coding in the HTML. Um, basically, the question is, would you guys prefer that we slice all the images and we build uh, and we use it to build an HTML kind of skeleton and, and theme first, meaning that we take the PSD and we make it just a regular HTML theme first and then kind of take that and, and make it into what we need um, with a WordPress theme? Um, or would you rather that we just jump into... Uh, you know, take our images and jump into just making the WordPress theme. Um, either way is fine with me. Some pros and cons. Um, if we do it the HTML way, that's fine. That'll probably be good for a lot of you that haven't gone from the PSD to the slicing to the CSS and the HTML markup. We can do it that way, but um, it, when we go to do it from WordPress, it'll almost be like starting over because we can use a lot of our CSS as a basis, but since some of the markup is just going to be different just because of the way WordPress works and and uh, and, and it's kind of going to be organized, since the markup is going to be a little different, we are going to have to um, to kind of start over once we start on the WordPress thing. So why don't you guys let me know what you want to do in the comments with that. I, I'm fine with either way, and I will happily do either one, but do you want to go from images to an HTML theme, or do you want to go from images straight into building our WordPress um, theme and not worrying about making kind of a, a, an HTML skeleton first? Uh, so let me know, and then um, secondly, I was going to ask you guys if you, if you wanted to do the slider, but I think that either way we're going to, because it's just, you know, it's kind of the popular thing, I guess. I see a lot of those, and I'm sure a lot of people are wondering how to do them, so... Um, I guess make sure I'm right there, but I'm guessing you guys also want to do the, uh, the, the jQuery or whatever JavaScript library slider. So those are all the questions I have for you guys. That's the introduction to the PSD we'll be working with. Like I said, thanks again to you know the author of the PSD, Jeffrey, 
sorry if I'm, mispr I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name, um, but thank you for letting us use this, and um, I think that's all I wanted to cover, guys. So we are going to uh, take it step by step next time, and we're going to slice um, all of the images. Um, and just take it one step at a time so you can see kind of how things are taken from a PSD to a full WordPress theme. So uh, I'm glad, uh, glad you guys are still with us and have a great day.